Welcome to my weekly house call, your chance to ask me your questions. And this week's question is, what about all this news about trans fat? Is it really so bad for us? Well, first of all, trans fat is a fake fat. It's a Franken fat. In fact, it was invented to be a better butter, but in fact, it's worse. Did you know that if you put butter out and margarine, that the flies won't land on the margarine? Isn't that weird? Because it's so toxic. And what we've learned is that trans fat, which is what margarine and shortening is made of, and by the way, you know why they call it shortening? Because it shortens your life, right? What it's made of is this funky fat that's a funny shape. And what that does is it alters your biochemistry. It changes your metabolism. So it causes diabetes. It causes obesity. It lowers your good cholesterol. It raises your bad cholesterol. It causes heart attacks and strokes. It even causes dementia and cancer and inflammation, all of which are definitely not something you want. Now, the good news is that over the years, we've lowered our intake of trans fats because of food labeling. But here's the little secret that nobody tells you. Take, for example, whipped topping. It says zero trans fat on the label, but if you read the label, it says water and partially hydrogenated fat. Well, partially hydrogenated is trans fat. And why they say that is you can have less than half a gram per serving on the, in the label and have it say zero trans fats. That's a trick that the food lobby used to get more trans fats into their food. But now the FDA has said, no, 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 this is no longer safe. The evidence is overwhelming. And you know when the FDA starts to say something's bad, despite the food industry lobby, it's got to be bad. So you really don't want to eat any of these things. You don't want to eat the microwave popcorn with trans fats. You don't want to eat cupcakes and cookies and donuts and fried foods, all of which are made in trans or hydrogenated fat. So here's the secret. When you read a label, look for the word hydrogenated. Make sure it doesn't have that on it. If you want to do one simple thing to improve your diet, to upgrade the quality of the food you eat, get rid of that hydrogenated fat in your diet. You'll feel better and you'll be healthier for it. So thank you for joining me on my weekly house call. If you like this, sign up for the newsletter, share it on social media, on Twitter and Facebook with your friends and family, and send me your questions so that next week I may make a house call to you.